having a nice time there. Yeah. Sinking <laughs> the audio. Being single is better than being in a bad relationship. Yeah. Every time. Every time. Every hands time. down, I feel. Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm joined by my lovely sister, sister, sister. That's me. Mister. I'm not a mister, actually. <laughs> we usually do the more chatty kind of videos over on my channel and yes. Jessie's been really wanting to do a kind of topical video on a specific subject. I thought. have. You know, we're all either single or in a relationship yeah. and we thought we'd talk about the pros and cons of being in a relationship, but also being single. Yeah. So I am currently single and this one is currently in a relationship. So we have quite a good little bit of diversity going yeah. on here. But we've also both been in each other's yes. shoes. Yes. So um, I've got my fair share of experience. experience being single. And I've got my fair share of experience <laughs> being in relationships. Yeah. We're gonna, I think we should divide these up into like pros and cons. We start off with single. Yeah, we'll start off yeah. with single because my channel and I'm single. So and a know. lot of people are single. A lot of people are single. your age, cause you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're 20 now. I'm 20. There, there's just like loads of good sides and bad sides of everything. And there's no, you know, a lot of the time I think you see the grass being greener. Oh, when, always. Yeah, it's just the way life goes. Yeah. Right? So even when you're single, like you can still be involved with people, but it's not like a full on relationship. And that kind of situation still has the same upsides and downsides as being yeah. single. Cause uh, you know, those, those kind of like non relationships don't really count. Yeah. Really, really. <laughs> um, and then also like I'm in a long distance relationship yeah, right now. So that's different again. So you do have periods of time where you kind of feel single and I can build on my time as a single person yes. to like get me through Definitely. the distance bits. We're gonna start off with the pros of being single. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So right. money. <laughs> dollar that dollar you got more dollar to spend girl <laughs> yeah like when you're with someone i think you do tend it, it just it costs it cost me more yeah it's costly because like when you're in a relationship you know if you're buying them Date. gifts dates going to see them if they live far away from you just doing things together it just costly it, 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 it adds up it yeah. really does add up like even when i think back to when i was in relationships compared to being single like i definitely spent a lot more yeah even things like christmas and stuff because like anytime i was in a relationship like i used to just go so overboard like <laughs> i just want to spoil yeah. them rotten like i'm like oh my god right i get to now shop for them <laughs> and i just spend so much money and it's like jessica you've just spent like how much hundreds of euro and you do you know i'm the total opposite of that Are you? Uh, yeah so like i took a test recently called the love languages quiz which is really really popular and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it but my main love language is quality time oh no and I so think so for me no like what I mean is I would spend a lot of money on like going and doing things yeah that's what I mean a though huge, no but even at Christmas like, yeah 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 stuff yeah. like that I'm not a very gifty person I'm some not, people are though I'm not bothered about getting gifts but I just giving love them. giving them yeah, I yeah. I get so much more fulfillment out of giving gifts. Like, it's not even like, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. I get so much enjoyment out of seeing someone so happy. Yeah. So, numero two, you have more time to spend with your friends, your family, etc. Yeah, uh, and like, you know, some people will argue with this and they'll be like, oh, I make loads of time for my friends. Yeah. Like, obviously it's really important when you're in a relationship to make time for your friends but you automatically don't have as much time yeah because you're, you're spending more time with them yeah like if you're working say if you're working like a nine to five job or whatever then your only time that you're actually going to spend with your partner is say evenings when you're both wrecked and you just want to go yeah. to bed and stuff or weekends and also weekends is when like your friends are free yeah and a lot of like my friends a lot of them are also in the same industry as me mm. and are in relationships too and stuff like that so we find it so hard to find time to like time. Just bloody hang out when like, you're both free and yeah, all. yeah it's so sad and it's i think um you know the way a lot of people say when you get older you know people stop hanging out with their mates and stuff as much I genuinely just think that that's because they don't have as much time yeah like if you're with someone they kind of become like your best friend and <laughs> especially when you have kids or something mm. as well like that makes things a lot oh different God, yeah, that's because in the thing into the mix. it's just like there's just not enough time in the day to do everything you need to do you know what I mean yeah. and but hanging said, out with your mates when you're single is like the best yeah it's, it's so amazing because you fill up so much time with them and when you're single you're more likely to be like obviously going out on the prowl and, <laughs> and, the and stuff like that get the shift get the shift <laughs> and um yeah and it's just lovely to 
get that much more free time with other friends especially other single friends and i suppose not having to worry about making time for a significant other you know yeah, what i mean like yeah. just kind of if you want to go chill with your friends if you don't if you want to stay and like you don't have to worry about oh but i have to take, take them to them into, into consideration. consideration yeah <laughs> <Okay>. consideration. <laughs> a huge pro of being single is that you do have a lot more free time and freedom to choose what you do with that time because yes. when you're with someone you just naturally integrate or like think of them before you make a big decision on anything always what yeah you're doing. um like how they're gonna feel you know what i mean like if they yeah, yeah just fit, fit in your time around each other yeah for like always. you know each other's families and each other's jobs and everything so um even this happened to me today like i um, I'm meant to be going to a gig of my cousin's band <laughs> on like the 1st of April or something but that clashes with a trip when I'm over in Spain with my boyfriend and I hate that obviously I don't hate going to see <laughs> him but what I mean is that th- my time is just a lot less free like yeah. I can't just be like yeah I'll do that yeah I'll do that because I always think of him first yeah you know so another huge pro of being single would be becoming emotionally independent and discovering who you are slash learning to love yourself Mm. because I feel like well this happened to me a lot like once you kind of come out of a relationship like when a relationship ends you're very unemotionally independent you don't know what to do because you kind of feel like you you need someone you're used to them yeah you're used to someone always being there and having someone to always go to so when you're on your own you're like oh crap Like, what? how do I do this? Like, I don't know what to do. I feel like when I came out of relationships as well, I had lost so much of who I was because I feel like a lot, now not all of the time, but a lot of the time, especially I feel like in your your teens, if you're in relationships, you kind of like change yourself. You become very meshed in with that person. With that person. So like you become part of them. You haven't even developed yourself either. Yeah, exactly. You have no idea what you like doing and all that kind of stuff because if you're especially if you're with someone from a very young age um you've not had that time to kind of come Mm. into your own learn about yourself yeah what you like what you don't like what you want in someone what you don't want in someone you don't know any of this yeah and i feel like i've only learned a lot of this in like the last couple of years but it's it's made such a difference to you i'm I'm like a a different positive difference a really positive difference how different am i now yeah, you're so much more um, independent. Relaxed, th- like you're, yeah, you're, a lot more. Independent. I don't. I don't mean to be all like, yeah, yeah. independent. Like, I'm a strong, independent <laughs> woman that don't need no man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. I don't mean it like that. But you are a lot more capable of looking after yourself. I'm fine with being on my own. Like you know what I mean. I'm not. Yeah, you're not always like, oh, I who, need somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Or that's whereas I feel like when I first met relationships in my head I was like I need to be with somebody and mm. I was like I want a boyfriend I want a boyfriend like as soon as it ended whereas now I'm like if it comes great and if it doesn't great like you know what I mean because I still know how to be happy on my own and do yeah. my own thing and not you know what I mean be relying on someone else exactly so tied to that as well another huge pro of being single is that your happiness is completely reliant on yourself yes. as in because I know for myself that if my partner, say, is stressed, I feel stressed. Yes. If I'm angry, they feel angry or upset or off. Like Basically, you're, however you're, they feel, you feel. You're very tied and emotionally connected, yeah. So, But when you're single, like when I was single, I was just kind of this constant... Like when I'm with someone, I'm a little bit more like that. But when I was single, I was very flatline, like my my yeah. my general temperament. I feel like as well when you're single, like if you're making a big decision or if you want to do this or do that, like you don't kind of have to again take them into consideration, whereas you would if you're in a relationship. Because mm-hmm. if something big is happening in your life, you're obviously going to speak to them about it and how yeah. do they feel? Like if you're moving country or something. Yeah. Big- big choice like whereas if you're single it doesn't matter like you do what you want, want to, to do, do. Yeah. so yeah so we're gonna go on to con- oh, I need to switch my legs sorry <laughs> my legs are kidding me oh, oh oh you're sitting on only one I'm sitting on two. Oh. oh. <laughs> cons right cons less frequent sex and sex that isn't always intimate oh god huge <laughs> it's quite a big one now it's a massive one and you know what on this point right you know when you're in school and lads are always like they might talk about a girl and they'll be using horrible names for a girl who might yeah. sleep have slept with like say four or five guys and they'll be saying oh she's as wide as a hallway yeah blah, blah. if you're if you're going out with someone you're getting way more sex yeah like, way more. I think normally now not all relationships oh, not all relationships yeah. but like but on average like, on average yeah you are and 
better sex I feel like definitely well, when you're in a relationship yeah. because like and make it love like yeah you can't get that unless you're in a relationship and that yeah. is like something you can't even you can kind of experience it I think in casual encounters but it's just not at all the same, the same. like you're not ever going to be that comfortable and, and, and emotionally connected, emotionally connected yeah. to someone unless you're you spent a lot of time with them and you're you know spending your life together and sharing a lot of memories and stuff so I do think that if you're someone who doesn't deal well with infrequent sex because it can be very hard to um first of all find people that you're attracted to who are single who are free on the same days as you yeah. who you you know both have the same agreements on like STD control yeah. um, who are happy is to good have, in bed yeah and know what they're doing <laughs> who is like don't get attached to you or who they don't get attached to you and yeah yeah I feel like being single like with the whole sex thing like things can get a bit confusing as well if you're like seeing someone like mm. you just don't know what's going on really a lot of the time so yeah. it's it's you know casual sex is fun and great and it's, it's just a bit harder to fit into your life yeah whereas when you're going out with someone they're more available and um <laughs> on top <laughs> and, yeah and it's just kind of it's a lot more loving and and um, they really learn about what you like and they learn about your body yeah. and you that that'll be a big con it will be a big uh, con going to bed at night alone right the only con Hugging right <laughs> okay so another con of being single would be too much free time slash loneliness and boredom yeah <laughs> yeah so i'd say this would be also quite a big one um, that was probably the main one for me as in i yeah, yeah. just sometimes and my friends would obviously fill in like a big gaping void that like a lack of a partner you know I I didn't always feel lonely but sometimes I did like yeah. because there's just a certain mainly at night when you're all alone and you've got no one to cuddle yeah like cuddles <laughs> cuddles is one thing that like you miss like mm. like cuddles are like oh so... and and with, on the boredom thing as well it is true because like when you're going out with someone I think usually it's exciting you you go out with someone who knows how to make you laugh and how to yeah. like just amuse you so you don't feel as bored as often because like they you kind of almost entertain each other a lot especially <laughs> like if you know like you're looking forward to seeing them and yeah. then like when you yeah I feel like that's a really big one for a lot of people who are single is like mm. loneliness because as well like friends can't really fill the void that a romantic relationship can even though they can they can in some in ways in some ways but, but not always no. yeah because you can't you can't really like wrap yourself all around and snuggle up with your mate like yeah. some people do that but like a lot of people don't feel comfortable yeah being that way with their friends because um there's always a weird line where like where does a friend end and like a sexual relationship begin like it's just when things are a bit too touchy-feely but like. i also think like getting cuddles from a friend compared to like someone ah, like, yeah. it's so different it's like because t- it's, different world yeah it's just way different kind of on that i would say as well a con is that you've less support yeah so like in in like a big situation um or even just say you have to go to the doctor or whatever like or um if you need someone to kind of do something for you yeah. be there for you in a you know at a graduation or even or... just to listen to you yeah in, because I feel like when you're in a romantic relationship like they care for you in a way that no one else in your life like it's a very different kind of care you it know is, what I mean yeah. it's, it's a lot more intense it's just a different level of support that yeah I don't think family and friends um they do, obviously they do offer, because some people go through their whole life single yeah. and they're fine. And um, But it also depends on the family you have, where they live, on your friends, how yeah. frequently do you see how them. How close you are Are they them? in a romantic relationship? Because yeah. if they are, you oh. can bet your fucking arse that they're not going to always be there yeah, when you need yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Preach it, sister. <laughs> I feel like another con of being single is like judgment from society. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of the time when people are single in society, they're seen as being lonely, depressed, miserable, just like yeah. so sad. They're and... perceived as um, like, oh, what's wrong with that yeah, person? Why that they're can't... not with anyone yeah. as if you have to be but even people like I've had comments in my videos like I can't believe like you're, you're not in a relationship yeah like, it's, like, it's you're, like you're almost less valuable yeah. like it's everyone needs periods of time in their life where they're single it's just so important yeah and um, to have that recharge or to just have that that time Definitely. and I hate that uh, the way are... it's nearly looked down upon yeah. when you're single it's like oh like yeah who do you think you are <laughs> running around leaving scars <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go on to the pros of being in a relationship now. A big pro to being in a relationship is 
no dating stress. Yes. Oh my god. When you're single, obviously you do oftentimes be dating as well. It's um, pretty stressful sometimes. It, oh my god, it is. Like the whole grey area thing and just like not knowing there's there's so much etiquette and yeah. it keeps changing as well with now online apps and oh. Tinder and you know a lot of the time you don't really know where you stand and no. you have to be a master at communication I feel like in today's yeah. dating world definitely how do you find dating in general I don't know I find dating like pretty confusing like yeah. you know what I mean it is like but then again like it is very fun but then like sometimes it's just like oh my god like what like why am I even bothering like yeah. because it's just like this is just causing like what's going on it's more this, more like, anxiety it is and like it's like in your chest it's like <gasps> like what's happening it's like because you're as well ba- balancing a few people as well of, of interest so say you're like texting one person and going on dates with one person sleeping and with another planning person. dates with another person sleeping with another person it it gets a bit like much yeah. and you're, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, like trying to juggle a load of balls and they're all just <laughs> flying off and you're like, no, like, just, what does this mean? <laughs> okay, and another pro of being in a relationship is more frequent sex. <laughs> and are you better? Much better sex. Much better, I, yeah. yeah. It is, it just is like. I feel like because when you're in a relationship as well, like you're obviously having sex more with them. So yeah. you learn to know what your partner likes. You care more about the enjoyment of the yeah, other person of the other person yeah. yeah sex outside of a relationship there's a lot always a lot of questions about you know um diseases and stuff like that yeah. whereas if you have a lot of trust in a relationship and you get tested um, and obviously if you're not cheating on each other and stuff yeah. like that it's just you kind of can relax a little bit about yeah. that one particular thing yeah and i think that's a huge thing in this generation now i feel like people don't realize how big the whole std thing is like like only recently like quite a few people that i know of i like heard that they've actually oh, got so common and like, it's just like in college campuses especially they're wrong yeah and like but i feel like a lot of people are like oh i'm not going to be the one that'll get it you know i'll be fine <laughs> But, like, you're so stupid if you think that way. Like, if you think that you're going to be fine, no, baby. Yeah. One thing I really like about being in a relationship is you just feel very solid and secure. Yeah, Um, safe. And safe, yeah. I think that's why humans do pair bond. Yeah. And there's a reason, obviously, behind why we do that, why loads of other animals do that. And I think it gives you a massive sense of calm and peace. And it's lovely. And I... Yeah, I think that's a huge benefit I do. to it. I definitely agree with that. So another pro of being in a relationship, I would say, is like that you can be totally yourself and you don't feel like you have to alter any certain parts of your personality like mm. when you're around them and like I feel like you're very comfortable in like being your whole self. Yeah, well, when you're on the market and obviously not everyone, but a lot of people when they're looking, they tend to kind of... I don't know, you just are always kind of trying to be your best You're very version. aware. Very self-aware, yeah. yeah. And even when you're, like, only kind of half seeing someone and you're just a little bit involved with them, you can't really just completely yeah, let, let go, go and, and be, you know... A just, slob. <laughs> yeah, just like... Oh, it's like what I was telling you earlier about me and my boyfriend. Like, any time either of us has to do a poo, we play the Lion King song and we say, I'm going in to do a Lion King. Hashtag goals. And then all you can hear is... Nah! How do you do poo with that place? It's just funny. It makes the whole thing hilarious. But yeah, so that that's a, another pro. Yeah. So the next pro would be increased quality of life. And I'm going to read this little piece for you guys off the internet. So there is evidence that people who are in love and committed relationships have healthier responses to stress, reduced feelings of anxiety and better blood pressure levels. Mm. And I 100% agree with that. If you're in a healthy relationship now. Oh God, Not yeah. if you're in an unhealthy relationship <laughs> right. like your girl was. Being, being single is better than being in a bad relationship. Yeah. Every time. Every time, Every hands time. down, what I feel. There's a lot of studies to say that you actually are healthier and um, it, aff- it can affect so many different things within your body. Hormones like it's yeah, and, yeah, it's so good for humans. I feel like a little bit of as well might be because like you have a real companion, you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. And like, like they've got you and you've got them and that's it, like, you yeah. know what I you're mean? You're doing life together. You're doing it together, yeah. like your team, like, and oh! Uh. <laughs> No, it's my lover. Con, cons. Say my love to Cons you. is going to change yeah, okay, your mind. Cons. Right. First con, baby. Um, oh, yes. Right. Come on. Yes. Right. First con. You can get stuck with the wrong person. You can. Oh. And this has happened to me in the past. Where Same. And I've, you feel like you've no way out, that you're trapped. Yeah. Because you might be in a relationship that has lots of good qualities and pros and stuff, but 
they're just not right for you and yeah. you have a gut feeling that it's just not a, the perfect fit it's just there's some Thing off. Off. every relationship has issues I'm not saying that like you know oh all these amazing things are good but these things are bad I mean like there's very clear glaring yeah. red flags I feel, like, I feel like we're more so talking about like when you're kind of toxic to each other you not know? even you might you might be with someone who you just don't love anymore yeah. and you're terrified to hurt them yeah. so like there are toxic relationships on the one hand and then there's that and then you know that's a massive amount of relationships that I know especially I feel like especially if you've been in a relationship for a long period of time because then it you're very tied to you're very other. tied to each other and like you don't know how to leave and then you're also thinking you don't know how to live alone anymore exactly like, you're you like know? is this the right thing to do because how am I going to cope without them like especially mm. if you've been with them for a long time so I feel like it can be quite a big con because yeah. I, I feel like it happens to most people like most people have been in long-term relationships that didn't work out and yeah it's not it's not that like you're wasting your time or anything like that but it's you're just, learning it's very difficult though like I I was with someone for a long time and we did break up once for five months. I knew after three, four years that I had to like unravel this. But, yeah. you know, I was so crossed in with his life. Like I was really close to his family. He was close to my family and yeah. all sorts of things. But then we broke up for five months and then we met up for coffee and then we both started crying and we just got back together out of comfort and loneliness. Yeah, and because then, you, you're you used to each other. It's yeah, familiarity. It's really yeah. hard to break away from that and find yourself again. So, But I feel like that's another thing because i done that as well. It's like, you know, if you break up with somebody and then you just get back with them, I feel like a lot of the time that can be the worst thing to do because a lot of the time it's not going to work out like if you broke up in the first place it was obviously for a reason yeah so you know i mean things just don't change overnight yeah it's really important to learn to listen to your gut and and you can't know when a relationship is a good relationship but no that's completely true yeah you can't change anybody i feel like women especially we feel like a lot of the time we can change yeah yeah they're a project yeah oh we can like we can change them (laughs) or like that it'll be fine you me moving to la i've got to move in with someone i didn't even know because i was like oh well he needs me yeah (laughs) i can be a savior god another con i think is that things can get repetitive. Definitely. Yeah. If you don't make, make effort. the effort to like keep the spark alive and both people have to do this. So that's why yeah. I would put it as a con because I, I don't allow that to happen. But in past experiences that has happened where like, you know, the other person just kind of takes you for granted yeah. and just doesn't, really realize what how, they have yeah like or, how important it is to keep doing date night and to yeah. keep it you know exciting and to i feel like after the honeymoon period a lot of the mm. time people just get too comfortable and they're like oh well it's fine now like, you're I've not got going them. anywhere yeah. you're like have you on the hook like the chase is over i've got them on the hook like oh no 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 because no. they can leave no, no, you no, 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 no. at any time at any time you're never completely okay like look at how many people people get married and still leave yeah like, you, you're never completely safe you have to work on your relationship everyone has you have to. to make an effort like yeah you've to, i feel like you have to be very creative as well like really think of things different things that yeah. you can introduce or little things like to surprise them or yeah. you know what i mean you just gotta be you, on the ball if you get emotionally lazy just you gotta get out you're waiting you might you're, as well leave you're not we're waiting for that person to leave you yeah <laughs> So another con, and I know I kind of mentioned this, but the thrill of the chase is gone. Mm. Um, and I feel like for men, yeah. maybe more so, a lot of men have even told me this, like they just thrive off the thrill of the chase. They, they thrive off the pursuit and feeling like they've caught a prize and stuff like that. Or and like if their girlfriend does the thing that we were just talking about where they just stop bothering and stuff they don't feel like they have a prize anymore yeah and then they see a new shiny thing and they're like oh <laughs> and especially if like there's a girl or something and she's like off limits nearly to him, yeah like, or you know if she's not interested in him then he even wants her like more and more. he just wants to chase and mm. i don't know like you know what i mean but so you have to i do think though that's why um it is important for not I don't mean just in straight relationships any relationship like for your partner to know that you have standards you will go if things don't yes keep making you happy and stuff like that that you're not just going to put up with any any old shit that means that they're constantly in pursuit of you and, and holding on to you so you can keep a relationship healthy but that is just like 
for a lot of people if they're not the right match and if they're not actually both completely in love with each other and mm. um, that can the thrill of the chase going and one person getting bored and leaving and cheating can leave this person really hurt yeah and um, so yes. yeah it's it, it's a con for a lot of relationships definitely yeah and kind of looping back to what we said at the start as yeah. well you have a lot less time for friends and family and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like we kind of touched on that, but like, you know, we did kind of explain that. Yeah, we, we did. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. That was, that was our, our, our chat. That um, was our little pros and cons. Are you guys in a relationship or single? Let us know down yeah. below. And um, we're going to be reading all the comments. Yeah. And how do you feel about more chatty videos like this on Jessica? Yeah, channel? would you like them? Because I'd love to do them. I really enjoy doing this and I'm so happy we did this. And come over to my channel. So we yeah, we filmed a home. video over on hers. So go over and watch that one. And don't forget to give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe yeah. down below. Turn on the little bell. And we will see you all in our next video. Bye. Bye.